Hey guys, welcome back to episode four. I'm sorry for the delay on the episodes. I've actually been moving houses right now. I uh, bought a house, so hopefully you're going to be seeing uh, the new garage real soon once I get a little bit of work done to that and a new filming studio. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be installing the head and the ARP head studs. So first I'm going to be installing these little dowel pins here. They hold the head and the head gasket in place and index it to the block. So the first part of installing the head studs is I need to oil the threads to make sure they go smoothly into the block and I get proper torque. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now then install all of these. Okay, so in ARP's instructions, they say that these should be run down until they're finger tight. So make sure not to tighten them with a tool or anything like that. I'm just using my T-wrench here to turn them down and then I'll uh, hand tighten them at the end. That way I don't torque them in any way. Okay, so I'm just installing the head gasket here. Um, on this engine, it's pretty easy because it can only really go one way. Um, it won't work the other way like it will on some engines. I'm just using the uh, factory Nissan OEM gasket here because I'm not going for super big power anyway, and with the head studs, it'll be more than enough. So I'm just checking to make sure that all the oiling holes are open like they're supposed to be. Um, like I said, this is the OEM Nissan gasket, so it's pretty good. But now it's time to go ahead and put the head on. So the head just simply uh, pops on here. You just want to be careful not to ding it with any of the studs or uh, mess up your gasket surface or anything like that while installing it. Okay, so the first step here is I'm putting the uh, ARP assembly lubricant on the um, washers and the bolts, just a little bit on each. This is a millennium, millen, millennium, yeah, um, sulfide grease, and it will get everywhere. So definitely be careful about that, and it only takes a little bit, so don't go wild with it. Okay, now that all the bolts and or nuts and washers are lubricated with the ARP assembly lubricant, it's time to go ahead and run them down. I'm just using this short 12.13 um, millimeter socket to run them down the finger tight. They're actually half inch, but I'm not tightening them yet.
Okay, so I have all these uh, run down by hand, and now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to find my deep um, half-inch socket, 12-point half-inch socket, which I couldn't find and had to go to the store to buy another one. But then I found the original one after I went to the store and bought that one, as it usually goes. Okay, now that I'm back from the store, um, it's time to go ahead and torque down the head. So it's going to be a combination of the instructions from Nissan and part of the instructions from ARP. So the torque procedure calls to start in the center, um, one, two, three, four, five, working your way outward as you go. So on the first round of torques, I'm going to tighten these down to 29.4 Newton meters. Then on the second round, I'm going to go back and tighten, tighten all of the bolts or nuts down to 107 Newton meters and then back them back off to zero again. Um, after I've done that, then I'm going to look at the ARP instructions, which calls for torquing the um, head down in three equal steps to 80 foot pounds, um, starting in the center, working your way out again. And of course, 80 foot pounds is 108 Newton meters. Okay, so I finished the uh, round of torquing them all to 108 Newton meters, so now I'm going to back them all off to zero to start the final tightening. Remember when you're loosening these off to go in the opposite order um, of the tightening sequence, so of course I'm going to be starting on the outside working my way inward. Okay, so now it's actually time to torque them down for the final time. I'm going to go ahead and start with the 30 Newton meters torque setting for the first round, starting in the middle, working my way out. So we know the final torque is going to be at 80 um, foot pounds, so we need to pick something in the middle of the 30 Newton meters and 80 foot pounds or 108 Newton meters. So I'm going to go with um, 50 foot pounds. So then I'll go ahead and do my final torque to 80 foot pounds or 108 Newton meters, again starting in the middle and following the same torque sequence. Okay, so the head's on. So now I just need to go ahead and install the buckets for the, uh, the lifters, the buckets, whatever you'd like to call them. Of course, I have all these marked where they came from. Um, you probably don't technically have to do it. I just like doing it this way.
Okay, those are all in. So now I need to go ahead and put in these two little bolts that are down here on the bottom. Um, they just go in right down here. So these little guys are going to be torqued down to 10 newton meters. There's one on the back here and then one on the front. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there may be a little bit of a delay before the next episode because I'm still finishing up moving, but hopefully I'll have that one ready to go soon. Mm -hmm.